welcome back to how to win series three and hopefully you're enjoying these series so far as we move through all the series we're still using a similar car but we've just got the virga bond in now at series three or higher we're using brute force as the engine which is still from series one as well hopefully the rest of these parts are all from series two and one so you have leveled them up a fair bit since looking at the drivers we're now using Oscar Piastri, which is Series 3. We've just got him to Level 2. And Yuki Tsunoda, we're still using from Leveling Up to Series 4. So you should have him a fair number already to go from Series number 2. So yeah. we're race Series 3 then. And it is a wet weather one as well. So we're going to be using wet races here. So remember that in mind. It does make your strategy that little bit easier in Series 3 when it is a wet track you only need to select the wets and do the rest from there but we could still get a chance of some dry so first race up first strategy to come in this series comes from japan and Suzuka. and let's see where we do qualify we should be towards the back and it is a wet race as predicted until we come round uh, quite spread out P12, P18, that Piastri looking pretty good in the wet. And remember, your drivers are going to qualify a bit different. And we've got a dry start. So we're going to go both onto mediums. And the wet weather ability really helping us there. What used to be wet weather, but surely there is some wet weather ability behind the scenes. Because Piastri started relatively high. And we're going to boost both off the line as well. Rain in a minute and 30 here. So he will be moving to some wet weather tyres in this race. And we're going to make a good start. Remember, we boost for the first part of the lap. And what we'll do is we'll cut down both to medium. And because you've got rain coming in in this series, you need to be on the ball and you want to be pitting. There's a crossover at about 20%, 25% where you want to be on wet tyres at that point. But at the minute... We're all good. Look how many wet tyres. We can do two to three laps. So if we can stretch this out as far as we can, we will be okay. We're going to try and save that power unit back up, as you do in every series. And it's going to be next lap that we're going to come in to do an early pit stop. Rivals pushing. We'll let them push. That's no problem. And we're going to save our power unit down the straight with both drivers. Rivals still trying to come through. If they get near us, we'll let them through. We don't need to handle that. And it, chances are we are going to pit this lap. Remember, it's only a seven-lap race. As Piastri looking for a move on Carlos Sainz. Rivals still pushing. Expect them to come past us now. And they don't. Or about to, I should say. But they are out now. And they're going to be running out. So we are, what we're going to do is we're going to leave Piastri out here to do free. But we're going to bring in Sonoda nice and early. Piastri hopefully can make some good moves. Can we go up the inside of the Ferrari? No, we can't. We're going to cut down. We'll bring him back in for some wets. Snowder though, made the early stop. Can't get past Hulkenberg. And then we're going to push. See if we can get past Nico Hulkenberg. Very slow exit in this track. And there we go. Already we're past one. And now the wet... So see what has meant about that crossover. This is a perfect example. You can see the cars starting to struggle on them dry tyres. And that is our perfect time to get the job done. Piastri coming into wets, and this is an absolute car park fest at the moment. As Sonoda's trying to get through. And it is a very much a struggle. Now, if you're new to this F1 clash, the very top right, you can see a, a rain cloud with a lot more rain. And that is because that is heavy rain. So Piastri comes back out. Nice position. Sonoda's got himself up to P14. So we're doing a 2-3-2 two, two with one driver and a 3-2-2 two, two with the other. And Piastri, we're going to boost for the initial part of this. 
he's doing the 3-2-2. Two, two. And just being a bit of a car park still. Can he get the job done up the inside? No, he can't, but he's going to lose out on a few positions. We've got a component failure for the rival as well. As there's Pierre Gasly going pretty slowly. And we're in a bit of a bit of a jam. We're boosting though. And that Gasly is on hard tyres. So let's get past him. Eventually. And now we do get past. So Piastri are probably going to do another lap. Well, we're going to have to stretch both cars. Here. So let's bring Sonoda through. And why that is, is because Sonoda has got... Can't do another lap. So we're going to swap these two round. We're going to leave Piastri gaining on the power unit. And we're going to bring in Sonoda. Just a bit of swapping out positions. And what we will do is we will carry on with Piastri. He's got enough to do. And look at that, we're up to P3. And we can come into the pits this lap. So now we're coming back out. So we are doing then. So what you want to do in the wet of Suzuka is really do a 3-2-2. Two, two, but it looks like you can do a 3-3-1 three, three, very easily. And that's what Piastri is doing here. So we're going to bring Piastri in at the end of this lap. We're going to boost him. And that 3-3-1, it actually looks like the best strategy around Suzuka. So gone is what you think is the best strategy. Look at this for a move. Can we get the job done? We can't. Rival will carry on. And they'll run out of tyres surely by the end of this race. And Yuki, surely that rival is going to run out of tyres. As we now come back out. We're boosting Yuki Tsunoda as far as we can. As out comes Piastri going very slowly. Remember, pit exit is a nightmare at this track. But we're looking all good in P8 and P9 for the win. Rival back out P22. We've used all our power unit up. So we're going to just be relying on driver ability here. We'll conserve down though, just to save a little bit. And we'll have one last push. But from where we were on the grid, I would absolutely take that. A very tricky track with a lot of holding up. Um, Piastri is going to come around to get P7. Is there any more moves in the bank for this one? Not quite. Sonoda's up to P9. And a P8 gets P8 on the line. So a P7, P8. Most importantly, we do beat the rival with that dry to wet race in Japan. So just prepare for that in this series. And we will have a look and just summarise the strategy we followed, which was nice and easy in the end. 35 points is the magic number. And as we look at the summary, we did a 3-3-1 and a 2-3-2 as the strategies. We then move to Silverstone for another potential wet race. And it's a wet qualifying, so you should be getting a decent starting position, especially using Oscar Piastri, who looks very nicely at home in this race. P12 again for Piastri, Sonoda back out in C in P18 overall. So, wet tyres will be going on again. We'll be trying to do a 3-2-2 with both drivers, but chances are Sonoda will do a 2 3 to instead we want to obviously create that gap still between the two we got poor race starts but that's okay we're going to keep boosting and away so p10 look at this from piastri looking good in the wet already into p8 sonoda not doing too bad down the back in p18 trying to get past russell we're going to keep boosting piastri's flying out there at the minute Sonoda's in a bit of trouble, but he's managing it absolutely fine. So we're going to try and conserve a bit with Sonoda. 
because we want to try and keep this power unit all good. Rival will probably swing past us pretty quickly soon. Because they'll start to launch on the power unit. There you go. You can see Hamilton now launching away. And we're not going to battle that too much. Because they're using all their tyres at the same time. So we're going to do three laps with Piastri. We're going to do two laps with Sonoda. Because we're in a bit of a traffic jam here. So what we want to do is get him out the way. And we're going to conserve for most of this lap. Because when we're in the pits, we're going to start boosting pretty hard. You can do this on most tracks as well. But look at Piastri out there, P5. Remember, charging that power unit up. Everybody goes round. Sonoda's still P15. And we're going to boost now into the pit. So in comes Sonoda. He's the only one to pit and what this does is it puts us on an opposite strategy to everybody else so piastri we continue to look after that power unit everyone's going to be pitting this lap this is why you want to watch out for everybody is going to start stacking in the pits for this lap and i mean literally probably everybody so let's boost him in We've caught Sonoda back up to the pack. Remember, we were only P17-18 when he came in. And now here comes Piastri. And look at the queue that is about to form in the pits at Silverstone. It is chaos. Now look what happens. We, with Yuki Sonoda, carried on. We've got Piastri coming out the pits now. He's up to P4. But look at Sonoda. Sonoda right round the outside and in to P number three. Now that is perfect from Sonoda. That is why an undercut at Silverstone works amazing. And all we need to do now is keep pushing a little bit with Sonoda and Piastri. And we can come in next lap with Sonoda. We will drop back, but not by a lot. And we are going to have, obviously, both on the same strategy here. So we're going to boost then, because we've got a lot of power unit left. We've got a lot of pushing to do with Piastri. He goes round. We're going to get Sonoda's attack levels, let's call it, back up. Doing a three. And we're going to try and basically keep these separate. So through we go. We've got Suyuki in the clear. We've got Piastri stuck in traffic. And we've got a nice three second gap, I'd call it, to the pit. So we're going to double stack ever so slightly here. But that's okay. Because it's going to be a lot more beneficial than going back round. So Piastri comes back out. And the reason being, everybody is about to get chock a block the next lap in the pits again. So take the pain of a slight double stack and you will reap the benefits this lap. Or if they don't come in the pits, as we've got a very slow moving car there, then if, even if no one pits, they're going to run out of tyres very near the end so we can pick them off. Piastri all over the back of Perez. The Ray go round, so they're going to run out of tyres on the last lap. So we can start pushing Yuki Sonoda to come through. And we've got a couple of pit stops. So some of the AI are pitting, and that's why we pitted early. So we can avoid any dramas in the pits. And now we boost Piastri as well. But Sonoda, P5, P6 at the minute. We're trying to get past Max Verstappen. Job now done up to P4. We take the lead of this race. I don't think we're going to catch P1 and 2. They're both out of tyres. We are going to catch P3 though. And we can just keep pushing. Because Piastri should get him here and does so. P2 and 1 are struggling. But we're just not going to catch them as they go over the line. But we have got P3 and P4 
and we await the rival to come through who's probably going to catch us easy no he's not because p8 has got tires another win against a hard matchup in silverstone and we've done that doing a 2-3-2 and a 3-2-2 strategy we'll just summarize make sure it's clear for you at home as well but remember avoid the pit time like we did and you can see everybody pits lap three and then some pitted obviously three to four but some pitted again later on so that is how we avoided look all the pit times of everybody else here we go with zanvoort in the netherlands another potential bogey of a track when it comes to f1 clash we're obviously in the rain again because it's series three we're up against it p13 and p16 compared to our rival we've got seven laps and we're obviously going to be starting on the wet tires two to four laps though these wet tires so it's going to be about watching what everybody else does as well so we're going to boost off the line we're going to be up against it on the perfect starts so we're going to be probably pretty poor on that aspect and we're okay we're on fast piastri gets a okay start around the outside goes up to the inside though and looking like he's got up to p9 we'll absolutely take that and now p8 can he hang on to that he can we'll cut back down and what we'll do is we'll start earning some power unit back because these are racing pretty quick at the minute remember if we lose positions i'm not bothered it's all about having a power unit to be able to attack later on in the race what you need to do is watch out for the ai and what they do because we want to try potentially undercut them because we're well on the limit of doing four laps and rival gets past as you can see and i'm thinking everybody here could potentially be doing four laps on these wet tires at the minute though we're going to carry on still earning that power unit back with both drivers and we're going to check on the tires where everybody else is at everybody else has got 50 percent. we're going to push piastri then and we're going to show you the two strategies that you can follow at zanvoort and there's piastri into p10 we're going to pit this lap can we get a move on norris we can And a move again. So if we're going to keep this pushing. See if we can get some moves done. Sonoda. We're packing up that power unit nicely. As Piastri is up to P7 and P6. So that's a good effort by him. And I'm going to think you're going to see a lot of dry cars probably come in on lap potentially four. So we're going to do an undercut with Piastri. Sonoda's on 100%, but we're going to carry on round, and you can see everybody else is going four laps, so similar to like Silverstone, everyone pitted lap three, these are all going lap four, so Piastri should come through as we get that slow entry out of the pits, which is very annoying, but Sonoda's in decent place here. He's going to get in the absolute stack. But what you'll find is a lot of teams will be double stacking here. See if we can make one or two more moves before we go in the pits. And there's one. And we get Ocon as well before we come in. So we're going to boost Piastri's last bit of power unit down the straight. And look at that. Everybody peels into the pits. Piastri gets P5. Or even P3 now after it sorts itself out. And that's why you don't want to pit that time with Sonoda. Because Sonoda's coming out well in the pack. But we can pit and well, we can boost pretty hard with Sonoda. So let's do that now. So we've got it all to do. We are three places away from the rival. As we're going to boost Piastri again. We're going to just keep him earning that power unit for an attack late on Sonoda trying to get past p12 let's try and do it down the straight though 
And here's a move up to P12. That swings it back in our favour. And we're going to boost again off this last corner to try and close that gap. It is starting to dry out. So Piastri's got some good tyre management there. So we're going to boost again. We're right on the limit of doing three laps. Oh, sorry, we're doing four laps, aren't we, with Piastri? So he's right on the limit. And it's going to be tricky to overcome them. But Sonoda, keeping that battery nice and charged, can look to close the gap. Piastri can't because he's, he's stretching them tyres. But Sonoda's coming around in P12. And look at that. Looking for a move on Perez. We're going to just hold until the last corner but it looks like we can finish p3 we've got Snowder all over perez now can we get a move done up the inside we can't we're going to try again though through the last section here we can't make a move but i think we might do it enough we might have done enough to secure the win and that is great for piastri p3 by pitting early and Yuki Tsunoda coming home P12. So really, you want to be doing an undercut in Zanvoort, doing three laps on the wets, followed by four laps on the wets, instead of a 4-3. So you can see there, Piastri didn't pit the same time as everybody else. And that is the strategy to do in Zanvoort, is a 3-4 in the wet. Miami then, for the last race of Series 3, to cover off we've got a dry strategy at the qualifying mark and we start p11 p18 well split out we've got dry weather incoming we're going to put both on the hard tires and hopefully we have a good part of the rain coming in in a few minutes time we do two minutes 40 or the rain will come in we're going to look for a very good, strong start off the line. Piastri is already up P10. Already makes a good launch up the inside to sit P6 and Sonoda at P14. We're going to cut these down and conserve down the straight. So we're going to probably go back a good few positions. But that's all about what we're at. That's what you need to do. We want, to, we want to be out there when that rain is just about to come in. And that's what the key is here. So he's going to lose a spot or two there. We're looking at Leclerc. We can't get the job done there. We're going to lose out to Perez though. That's fine. These are all on. Quicker tyres. Softs, mediums around us. Sonoda looks coming from the last corner. We're well on track to do three laps at the minute. So he's already got one pit stop by the rival who's on the soft tyres. So we're ahead of them at the minute. And the rival's pushing hard on that hard tyre. All the power unit again being used. And Piastri is looking okay. I'm quite happy with Piastri's tyres. And Sonoda's tyres. We're both on 100% now. Here comes that soft tyre pushing hard. He won't be able to push too much longer. As we try and make a move. We should get most people into the pits though now. Maybe the hard tyre one's just staying out for a bit longer. But that rain will come in. Here comes Piastri on Leclerc. Good move. And there goes a few pit stops. So we then move in to P4. And Sonoda up to P9. And we'll come in for some wets. So we're doing a 3-2-2. Two, two. It's the same strategy we'll do in the dry. But now we're just converting to wets. And we've got a decent gap between the two drivers of 6 seconds. We are just going to hold Sonoda back though. Just to create a bit more of a gap. We've got no one behind us. We can't really move forward either with Stroll there. And 
then we'll push back. So Piastri is coming in. It's just going to run out of tyres. Rival has run out of tyres. And into the pits we come. So we are going to double stack because we've been held by the rival. That's okay though. We need to get on these wet tyres. And we're not even going to double stack that hard. It's a quite a slow pit stop anyway here in Miami. But Piastri is coming out in P7. Sonoda, P14. And now everybody is on dries and we are the only ones on wet tyres. So we can absolutely boost hard now. And try and overcome some of these rivals. Let's cut down. Let's not use all that battery up just yet. Because in a minute time, minute and 20 seconds, it's going to get dry again. You can see Piastri struggling at the minute to get past all these. But the longer they stay out, the harder it will be for them cars. There's a couple of them coming in the pits. Piastri now looking at Perez. Goes round the outside into P3. Did get into P3. He's lost it though, somehow. Somehow, we can't overtake these dry tyres with wet. And now we finally can. We look at a move on Hamilton. But we still can't get past him. Very interesting that we can't get past on wet tyres. And still... Even without any power unit, Hamilton out there on mediums is holding us off. And we're going to have to bring both in here as well. So a frustrating start to this one. But we are in with Piastri. Hopefully a decent stop. And we're just going to double stack ever so slightly. We do jump the Mercedes, but somehow... Sergio Perez gets out ahead of us. And now it is starting to dry very slowly, but we should get two laps in here. And we can push Sonoda very hard. 100% ERS. His power unit ready to go. We've got to overcome this rival. Sonoda's starting to. P10. Now making a move on Sainz. Can we get past? We can. Round the outside into p9 lovely ahead of us one hard compound tire and we're going to just conserve still with piastri for one last run at this perez and we try and go around the outside can't get it to do we're up to p4 rivals up to p2 now so we've got to start making some moves let's put the power down Sonoda's up to P6. And we're going to conserve with him. Piastri is now P2 ahead of the rival. Great move. And we look like we're going to get this one in the bag. We've followed a similar dry strategy that we've got. And now we start to push with Piastri. Rival could run out of tyres here. Could we snatch P1 from the grips of Fernando Alonso? Round the last corner we go. He's not out of tyres. He is now, but it's going to be too late. I think, no, it's not. Piastri does win. And Sonoda comes home in P4. So similar strategy that we would do in the dry or the wet. But we do get to win that race. And let's have a look how many points that does leave us with. 45 in the end. And let's summarise the strategy in Miami. A 3-2-2 with both drivers was a very good way to go. If it wasn't for the wet, we would have just gone medium, medium. But in this case, we had to go to the wets. And that is the end of the Series 3 Strategy Guide. Hope that has helped you massively. And fingers crossed, we see you for Series 4.